Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and another episode of Why You Telling My Business? Don't be telling my business. Well, I can, can, and I can, 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 and I will. Okay? We got Portia Williams, Thought Land, Thotalina, the whore Jezebel, the whore of Atlanta. Okay, however you want to see her, people, however you want to see her. I see her as an opportunist. I see her as a drain, a draining vampire when it comes to messing with men and their money. Okay, and she's going to come out the top baller because she's a runner. She's a track star. And she already done told for those who are listening, for those who are trying to hear. That she's about that dollar dollar. She ain't about no emotions. She ain't about no family. No, no, she ain't pretentious like that. She just want the money. And want to live well. And whoever want to be around her. She'll take care of them for a certain amount of time. But don't don't count on them. Don't count on them. Okay. But we're going to get into this Miss Shamil more. And the whole ordeal of her trying to hang around Portia. And could she be her foe or could she be her friend? Portia. Why is Shamil out here telling all your business on the Big Tigger Morning Show? Why is she got you out here looking like a fool? Trying to floss you up like you this, that, and the third. Like you higher echelon. You rubbing heads with the elite. This, that, and the third. And constantly making a fool out you in the back of your head. Okay? She ain't with you and she ain't your friend. But I know you a man eater. You might turn the whole scenario over. You letting her get free press off of you by telling your business about this home you supposedly had purchased with Simon and all of that. And she talking about she coming over. She need her keys. And can't she tell everybody? Can't she, can't she tell everybody? Can't she tell everybody? And you just like, what, what, what you want? Like, girl, we know this shit has already been rehearsed. Y'all already said what you want her to do. How you want her to come in and, and bring in the tea so you can drop it like it's hot. And so everybody can be like, oh, let me go run and see what... What, um, how she done got, what, Portia ain't got shit, so stop looking for it, it ain't there. She's renting somebody house out, it's all for publicity, and to probably get her second show, which is gonna be a train wreck again, I'm just telling you, because they left us with the cliffhanger on the uh, subject of her trying to put paws on Dennis McKinley. Now, how you gonna be a woman trying to fight a man? <laughs> I'm like, girl, sit yourself down. Now, I know you had two brothers. And these two brothers that you're referring to, they don't even want to come on your show. They don't want to come and mince with you when it's regarding taping. Now, I don't know if they done did some crimes and some time and all that. They don't want to be exposed or what? Are they just decent human beings that just don't care for the line? Like, they don't want to be in that fishbowl type of scenario. But you got two older brothers that should be having your back. Or hell, being your bodyguards when you go out and do your book signing or just your comings and goings. Hell, go, go boss up at Dennis if he giving you trouble. Or even your past relationships. Where are your brothers, honey? Forget about where your friends, where are your brothers supposed to be down like four flat ties for you? Okay, but again, we see the disconnect in your family. Ain't nobody acting right. Everybody out for self and they scattering like roaches when the lights come on in an infected house full of trash and, and, and just uh, nastiness, I guess you would say. But anyway. Shamia was on the morning show. Yes, she is a host now. Got indoctrinated on January 3rd of this year. Her and some comedian. They kind of, I don't think her, the comedian's name is Pat Williams, but she kind of put me in the frame of mind of Wanda. If anybody know the Wanda uh, that we used to be on Frankski Morning Show before she got towed down, like, uh, I don't know, got stripped like she was uh, being strip searched. At a uh, police station for uh, bringing in drugs or something. You know how you just get stripped down and degraded, dehumanized, and all that kind of stuff? Cat Williams tore her ass up. I don't know why Wanda thought she was a seasoned um, comedian or whatnot. I mean, she was not even on that level or even trying to come at Cat Williams, you know, even with a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh uh. 
but it, he just tore all in her, and it, it was just it's a hot mess, and we ain't seen from her since. Okay, I don't know what she's doing. She probably on a farm somewhere picking grapes. Who knows? Okay, who knows, child? But I know she ain't doing nothing as lucrative as she was doing here in these streets in Atlanta. Cause once you become a personality in radio, that's just like a step up for other major outlets for you to be exposed to. And you know, a portion I had her spin on Dish Nation. Uh, so that was kind of her breakout, and then you know she was on the Ricky Miley, Ricky Smiley Morning Show, and then she, you know, she was already on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So she's been filtering her way up. Uh, well, I should say filtering her her way down that damn rabbit hole of the immunity industry that's going to when they get finished with her like they did Whitney Houston. And I'm not comparing her to being songbirds. Not at all. But I'm just saying, you know, being in a certain industry and trying to do what you need to do to uh, become more pronounced in the entertainment world and people recognizing you and giving you other type jobs uh, that you... Uh, surpass the casting couch or however they put it the things you have to do to be on that next level of assessing more wealth more opportunities such as candy birds but we ain't gonna go into that okay because we already know she a madam we know how she get down she's down with all that madam hooker prostitute mess you know what i'm saying we already know she's up she's over there forward she climbed high in, in the industry and we know why okay but that's another video but uh yeah shamir called herself breaking ranks and, and and coming out um telling portia business about yeah she done moved into her mansion and all this kind of stuff i'm like y'all really don't know what mansions are do you y'all want to really see a mansion hey go on over there in britain go over there in europe and you can see plenty of the queen's mansions they old rusted looking uh medieval type uh architectural those are mansions okay now what are you trying to a house as a mansion I, I, i'm not sure because it just don't get me because if you're a family of three and you go get a 10 bedroom house you who looking like the fool unless that house is sitting on some major acres to get that house that's just a structure that a tornado can come a big wind knock it down and you ain't got shit but land okay that's where your wealth at is in land but hey who am I to keep telling grown ass folks what's what's wealth and what's not wealth? Okay, but anyway, just to give you a little feedback on Miss Pat, the radio personality uh, that talked about, um, also talked about Miss Gina, which is Dennis McKinley's mom, and Portia was sitting up there with Shamil and Big Tigger, and they were laughing and shit. I ain't finding them funny, you know, because that's still your granddaughter's, um, um. Your, that's still your daughter's grand or mom that you're referencing somebody want to put hands on you see what i'm saying portia was condoning because she wasn't saying nah don't touch my grandmama you know that was a bad joke don't go there you know but she just you know alluding to yeah yeah get her get her you know what i'm saying me pat to my she'll slap me Gina. but that's for another video i'm gonna make too but we solely gonna be talking about why portia letting somebody disrespect her daughter's grandmama okay but going back to, like I just want to give you a little history on Miss Pat. She's a comedian. She's an author. She's a podcaster, and she's an actress. I don't know her from a hill of beans or a can of paint, but that's just who she is. As one of the platform co-hosts on the Big Tigger Morning Show. Then you got Shamil Morton. We know her from being an ex Falcons cheerleader. She also claims to fame as being a singer, a dancer, and an actress. Again, I don't know where, because the only thing I've been seeing her is, you know, being a Falcons cheerleader, a choreographer for them, and uh, being at the shows looking a hot mess, trying to flaunt her sexuality with her African husband, a Liberian husband, a Nigerian husband, uh, looking at her like, no, you ain't going to be disrespecting me. I'll let you work here and there, but you know, I make enough money for you not to work. I know, you you know, you're feeling yourself, and you, you be hanging around all these little uh, C-list act uh, actresses on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or whatever but that's not how I get down I don't want my life exposed that's why we're not on the Real Housewives of Atlanta to this day because they don't know how to act you try to tell them to have barriers you see how your friends are acting you see how they're showing them in the public that ain't gonna be me baby so if you want to go into the big ticket morning show get up at six o'clock in the well four o'clock in the morning to get there by six and be aired 
and for four hours then okay do you maybe that'll help you maybe it'll grow your business or whatever you're doing but don't 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 be fat don't be messing with my livelihood and don't be messing with my peace of mind because i ain't living in no fishbowl now i can see shamir husband telling her that and she probably trying to do what she need to do but see shamir don't got bit by that bug she's gonna find herself divorce is what she gonna find herself but a man gonna probably have otherwise he could have been partaking of or you know he looking at why she doing all this other foolishness stuff but i do know from knowing that man and from her little creeping ins and outs trying to hang with um um what's the name dennis and portia when they were together and then she trying to hang with her when she with simon and i'm like don't get screwed up now portia We'll take your man if she feel like he meets, needs to be in her pocket, okay? Because she showed slid up there and got fouling hoods when they were having rocky times or whatnot. She didn't let it dissolve on its own. She became a fixture by getting in them DMs and, and trying to see uh, how he was feeling. Instead of her doing a due diligent thing by seeing how Fallon feeling too. You know, if you're going to do one for one, do one for the other. You know what I'm saying? What's good for the good, good for the gander. But no, Portia wasn't nowhere in those DMs on Fallon's side. She was only in, uh, trying to figure out what's going on with Simon. You see? And that's just a spirit. So if she don't have no filter and no barriers, she'll do the same thing to you, Shamia. While you sitting up there trying to think you're getting the best of her, she might be getting the best of you, baby girl. She might be getting the best of you. So why you on be Tigger Show trying to air her dirt out? Remember, Portia is seasoned in the game. Okay, she's very seasoned. And why you and Miss Pat, that's Miss Pat on the left hand side. Supposed to be a comedian and all this kind of stuff. But Candy is the uh, true reigning person over there, her and Kenya. You know, they ain't gonna let nobody talk about them too bad because they wanna hold them purse strings of the Real Housewives of Atlanta till they ready to get off. So you know, they uh, Candy is a fan of, of famous favorite over there at the Real Housewives or uh, Bravo franchise. So she ain't gonna do no wrong. But she gonna know when they when the writing's on the wall when she gonna get out of there. So she making her moves. Don't 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 say it. Cause Candy ain't gonna get off that boat for nobody until they ready to get her written. When she don't saw the writing on the wall, they don't communicate it, and there's nothing else uh, for her to do. She's gonna leave then. Cause she ain't gonna arbitrarily say, okay, well, I think uh, I'm gonna let y'all go. No, Candy gonna wait until they say, well, we don't, we want to make you a friend of the show, and you know how it goes. You know how a good role, da 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 da, and they gonna get rid of her. Cause you know, Candy really has no uh, true essence on being on the show and even when we give her or they give her a spinoff her family just take over and they're just so com uh uh comical where you, you just can't help but tuning in again and again because you just want to see what kind of foolishness gonna come out but one thing i can say about candy family they ain't gonna go crazy now they gonna let you know they they, they ready to put hands on somebody but they ain't gonna be stupid enough to pull out the, the the big guns you know what i'm saying they ain't gonna be pulling out the paws they might get down after the camera leave house may be towed up from the flow up okay windows may be broken cars may be or uh, wheel may be flattened you know just a whole mess in the house you know what i'm saying Oh, up sofas toe up and shit but you ain't gonna see it on camera you just ain't gonna see it on camera okay it can't got enough money to replace all this stuff this is it what it is they let it happen she brought them on tv so you know it is it what it is but that's shamil moore she better wake up she better fly right just because you sitting up there thinking you're gonna be using portia for the end Porsche gonna be using your ass she's gonna be over there with your man Okay, cause it's, you see, she kind of, kind of got some features like Portia too. I don't know what are, what are these women doing. They all don't want to look like Portia or something. I don't understand. I really, really don't understand the fascination. You got Drew Sedora almost turning into Portia, and you know, like I said, one day friends, cause they were friends before. How it was told when Fallon was coming on the show, she's supposed to be a uh, Porsche friend. But then Porsche tried to like throw it off, like, no, nah, she ain't my friend. She's just a cast of the show. But I'm like, yeah, you kind of said the same thing about Shamil. But that was supposed to be Candy friend. And we know how you get down with your family. You throw them under the bus in a minute. Because you tried to throw salt on Lauren's name, too. Talking about, you know, Lauren trying to say this, that, and the third. And now she want me to take all the heat. Yeah, yeah we need you to take all the heat, Portia. We, we need you to. Because you done made it a, a, a mockery out the whole legacy of your civil rights uh, grandpa. You done tore that up from being on this first season of Family Portia Matters. We don't give a really shit up. Two shits of shits tell about Simon. Because he wanted it. He asked for all this 
uh, debauchery, senseless, soulless entertainment. So, you know, he gets what he gets at the end, too. We just talking about your Jezebel spirit ass running around here trying to say you one thing, then you turn it out trying to be another whole thing. No, nah, we, 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 nah. we ain't got no love for you, Porsche. We ain't got no love for you, baby. Because you chose it, you love it, you're swimming in it, and, you know, it's just here what it is. It is what it is. Like I said, you talk about the best. You talk about the best. So you can't help but be a mess. Okay? Can't help but be a mess. Alright? But there's this, there is salvation out there. But you got to claim it. You got to want it for yourself. Ain't nobody want it for you as much as you should want it for yourself. But like I said, I don't know. Maybe it's going to take your baby girl to grow up and try to be better than you. And try to separate herself from you. To get you to understand that these are the things that we should not be doing, Mom. And we're not going to be trying to do any of that. Because I tell you, these kids, when you put them on television, they show they show up and show out. Because we know how Cynthia um, Bayless' daughter, Noelle, told into her several times. I was, I was kind of upset myself for Portia, I mean for Cynthia when Noelle got on her behind. But, you know, what could you do? What could you do? The girl was speaking them but the truth. Or how y'all say facts. She wasn't talking about them but facts. And it was a young person telling her, her own child. Then you got Riley over there telling um, <sighs> Don Juan on one scene they were filming on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And her mom, Candy. Well, mom, you got uh, street sense. You ain't got book sense. <laughs> Oh, have mercy. Give me a glass of water because I think I'm a faint. You know, because that girl, again, out the mouth of a babe, speaking truth, number facts. <laughs> so I was like, and you could tell Candy was like too fit to be tied. She probably tore into her in a sense after that scene was gone and they were back at home. But, you know, it's just here, what it is. Candy left the door open and Riley ain't for the shits. She is not for the streets and she ain't for the foolishness. So she get her money, she gonna get it honestly, and she gonna put a lot of people on blast if they come, you know, trying to get in her courtroom and they doing somebody wrong in the entertainment business. I think, cause I think she's gonna be more so pro bono sometimes just to have help out people who don't have, cause I, I just get that spirit from her. She's a good child, um, raised appropriately. Uh, with some other family members and like I said Ken ain't that bad you know when it comes to uh, raising her daughter the proper way I think she had a fundamental uh, basis of how she wanted to raise her and, and taught her about giving back to the community and being a good person so I think you know Mama Joyce still instilled that as well as her other aunts uh, instilled those values so I think they still hold and reign true with her but she's also trying to teach her uh, to be a businesswoman and don't count on any man to support her. She needs to support herself very well. So if she don't have a man or she be like Oprah, have a man but not married to him, but treat him like she married to him in a sense, you know what I'm saying? But not any financial ties, then she's good with that as well. But I was like, oh my goodness. Shamia Moore thinks she's trying to handle Portia Williams and trying to get Portia Williams more spotlight. Because to me, it's like Portia Williams winning in that relationship or a friendship or a situation, however you want to call it. Because they might be lesbians on the low with one another. I don't know. I'm just getting that little tease right there. It ain't all kosher. You know, where they both liking heterosexual men and they're trying to be with men. Because Portia has been deemed that she could go both ways. And I'm like, mmm, I don't know. Shamia might be a little tasty, crunchy munchy herself. But it just is what it is. But I thought I'd just get that video out to you all to try to tell y'all. Shamia is op Morton is opening her mouth a little bit too much. But then again, that is good free press for Portia Williams to try to make more about a situation than what it is. Now we see she ain't no longer friends with Candy or Portia. I mean, she's no uh, no longer friends with um, uh, Phaedra or Candy. Not really. Okay. And we know how that fared with Phaedra, right? Okay. Got her on out May uh, Carlos King and Phaedra look like the uh, mean ones and the, the devilish ones when Portia, you know, she got a slap on the wrist and was able to stay on the show. But she's still going around here and putting hands on folks. So how long is Barbara going to let that happen? Okay, and is Portia really wanting to be seen as a shit starter as well as a get them paws out on people? I'm like, we're having anger management. 
you know we got to take some some type of accountability around here and Portia's not being exposed of taking any kind of accountability but like I said she's running a good race now but as things do come to an end because all things don't happen for long you know what I'm saying you're gonna have to have some rough spots and some growing spurts but uh yeah so Shamia Moore why you think you clocking uh Portia's to you better watch out for your husband baby He's nice looking. Okay. He's very easy on the eyes. And he's a businessman. And just like her and Kenya were playing footsies with the babies as well. You see how long that lasted, right? And Fallon's no longer in the picture. So you might be one of her casualties as well. Alright, girlfriend. I'm just saying. That's all I got for this video, guys. If y'all like and love, you gotta have more. Continue to stay tuned. Um subscribe share and like my videos as always that's what y'all gonna do for me you know i'm fam and i'll be here and i'll be sick and i'll be trying to come with the tea because it's just too hot to hold okay too hot to hold for myself so i gotta come talk to my family about it my youtube family so y'all get down in those comments y'all let me know because <laughs> i'm like simon 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 you really just don't know what you got yourself into and for what i hear on my sister's channel uh sunday on me uh they want you to run from Porsche now so can you run can you hide do you have track shoes on it because you might need to get out the kitchen because it's getting pretty hot and Porsche takes no prisoners she just takes their paycheck okay she just takes your money okay because we know it ain't it ain't in the bed is where it's at we know that we know that so she wants your money she wants the lifestyle and for so with she's gonna get rid of you too or you're gonna get rid of her but you're gonna come while you saying you got that uh moving truck child she might got one for you all right because that's just how Portia gets down she's an evil woman these days evil woman very calculated and conniving and the one thing that she do holds true is her image doesn't care if it's uh ratted out or tattered out or it's looked that she's a gold digger she don't care that's not her mo she wants to live the life of the rich and famous and that's it bottom line she'll step over anybody even her child and her mother i am uh really at heart to say i believe she would do that so it is what it is and i'll see y'all next video